Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. This week we explore our friendships on Boss Battle? Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 84, a show in which the writers of Insert Point to begin to get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Town, and joining us as usual, Sorg, what did you achieve in gaming this week? Oh, I'm sorry. I was busy catching them all. Oh. Yes. Have uh, you gotten into Pokemon? I got into Pokemon Yellow nice. this week. Because there's a nice, that GBA, uh, the web GBA <laughs> that we, we talked about on, I think, on Awesome Cast a few weeks ago. Um, so I found that, and you guys have been talking about it, and I'm like, I want to know what you guys are talking about. I'm missing something. <laughs> so I'm playing Pokemon, legit Pokemon, for the first time in my life. Congratulations. Yes. And I've already been for, warned to get a strategy all, guide by one of you. So First uh, of all, Sorg. Yes. Pokemon. Yes. Is not a thing. It's not a thing? It's not. Pokemon. You bite your tongue. What am I doing? Pokemon. 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 It's a soft E. Respect it's the soft Pokemon. E. <laughs> Respect the E. Respect the pause. So I should not call them Mons? No. Then? No. No, no you Mons should call them Mons. I should... But the Poke E in Pokemon, Pokemon. Is, so- Pokemon. is like Pokemon. 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 Hey, po- po- you guys know how much I screw up Poughkeepsie? The Poke- Leave me alone. Pokemon. Uh, also, I got into that Civilization game, and now mm-hmm. uh, so much so that Missy has had nightmares that all of her <laughs> friends talk like the professor on there. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. I so, that. I put in, like, I think it said, what did I say, Chachi? Like, five hours, six hours this week? Something ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's... Oh, I, I was up till 4 a.m. playing that game once. It's... Wow. But then I got to a point where, like, why am I doing this? I'm just sending people, like, I had my defenses, like, and I'm, I'm... It's not even a good game. Like yes, it is. It's a great It's a good strategy I mean, game. It's a, it's a strategy game, but it's not something you would spend. You Let's would think you would spend hours on strategy game. Yeah, I mean it's it's good. It's free. It's nice to dive into. I wouldn't have paid thirty, sixty bucks for this or anything. No, 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 but, no, no. But no. I'm not into this kind of. I've never once again, like I am not typically playing RPGs and never played a Pokemon game. Uh, I am not typically oh, in no. this turn-based strategy Sid Meier kind of uh, line of things either. So oh, Sid yeah. Meier Pokemon game. <laughs> 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 Gotta spend them all and collect resources. <laughs> uh, other than that, a little bit of GTA, and that's about it. Oh, also, I did download the Asphalt game. That is the first one to broadcast on Twitch. I don't think they've gotten the update yet, but I want to get into it a little bit beforehand <laughs> to know sure Riz- to do that. Sure and, I'm gonna, and I'm going to Twitch it when it, it becomes available. Twitch? Yeah, I want to Twitch it, and I'm going to make sure I send all my streams to Riz. I'm sure Riz will be on, all excited about that. Yes. All right, speaking of Riz, what did you achieve this week in gaming? Well, I, I downloaded two games on my mobile mobile device. Uh, <laughs> While we're phonetically sp- yeah. saying everything tonight. Yeah. The <laughs> first one is uh, Color Mania. It is a pretty cool time waster game, kind of like uh, Four Picks, One Word, and uh, let's see what else. It was like a close-up game, and it, all it is is just like you have to choose what colors – each uh, symbol is, and you get points. And the other mobile game is uh, Smash Hit. Smash Hit. Uh, it's a you're a like a going through a little maze kind of thing. You have to hit different uh, cylinders or or pyramids that gives you points gives you more balls and you have to just go keep on going through until you i don't think it ends i think it's just there so it's another time waster and um the thing that i'm most proud of just happened in a few minutes ago about 27 minutes ago uh i got dark souls 2 and uh I got it on Saturday, and I've been playing it nonstop for the past few days now. Mm-hmm. And I just got past the first boss. 
Wow. And I'm I not told you kidding. it was gonna be hard. I'm not kidding when I say uh, um holy shit. Praise the sun. Uh praise the sun. <laughs> All right, Chuck, hurrah, what'd you, what'd you hurrah do? for insert coin. <laughs> what did you achieve this week in gaming? Well, I used to uh, achieve things in gaming, and then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I picked up uh, Skyrim. I knew it was a Skyrim reference. Um, uh, so I've been playing the crap out of that. Um, here's what I'm thankful uh, in, in Skyrim. Fast travel. Mm-hmm. Uh, um once you unlock I, everything, you'll love it. <laughs> I, I, I'm not. I'm not kidding when I say this, but I spent three hours um, walking around a mountain <laughs> because the last time I tried to go over the mountain, a uh, dragon ate me. Yep. <laughs> so that'll happen. Yeah. Not kidding. Mountain, Fast mountain. travel is the greatest thing that ever happened to this game. <laughs> uh, it's a great game. One of my favorites. And we have a special guest this week, Fuzzy. Fuzzy, how are you doing? What did you achieve in gaming this week? Well, good. What did you achieve this week in gaming? Um, I finally got to where I found the Koenigsegg ripoff in Grand Theft Auto V. I've been trying to find that for uh, a couple days now. I found it in a mission. I just need to find it in the wild so I can just kind of steal it and use it as my own now. Uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Grand Theft Auto V and also a mobile game called dots uh that i picked up it's a um it's just a basic connect the dots based on oh color. yeah that's that's a fun game it's it's so addicting like once you figure out how to make a square and you realize oh i can do good at this it it's bad it's real addicting <laughs> all right and i have been busy playing uh two things this week um south park the stick of truth I've, i'm still playing it it's awesome um, the aliens uh, level is really funny, and the under, underpants gnome part, I couldn't believe it, but it was hilarious. So, uh, great game once again. Um, and thanks a lot, Sorg. I've been playing Threes. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's yeah. now Fucking available Sorg. on Android, and I can't put it down thanks to you and Chachi. Welcome. Welcome to the Threes. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Try to be my score. Bring it on. I oh, uh, my, my third game, I came so close to beating so, the score. Is it, like, just the number three, or is it threes, like, spelled out? Multiples, uh, of, multiples three. It's, of three. Multiples of three. Yeah. But it, it, the game's title is T-H-R-E-E-S. Yes. With an exclamation mark? Yeah, uh, I believe yeah, so. Yeah, does it have? For $1.99? Yep, $1.99. Yeah. That's, that's how much it is. And you will never get, up, and you will never get upselled again. Yep, you will never Wait, regret that so, decision either. So it's m X3? No, or just threes. 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 Threes? Threes. T-H-R-E-S. Okay, keep going. Keep going. $1.99. We're hawking the game for them. <laughs> From Servo? <laughs> Servo, let's see. Okay. I got it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> now that everybody's downloaded the game. Now that everybody, yet, yeah, okay. Now Live that downloading right play. here on uh, Boss Battle. Because <laughs> uh, Tachi ranked it five out of five. The WWE Network. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a different. I'm going to teach you how to download, download the podcast <laughs> that you're listening to right now. All right, it's time to go around times the net, in the net, entirety net. of the podcast. <laughs> uh, hey, by the way, for the guys on video, uh, sorry, it took me so long to pull it up. If it, it needs to look like this, um. That's the threes. That's All right, is it time? Is it? Can we go around the net? 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 Yeah, I I'm did just say like around. an echo before, but everybody was talking over me, so I uh, I could take a break from running around Skyrim. <laughs> this week in video game things, thing things from around the internet. No, 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 no. Um, we got a couple of funny videos and a achievement that we'll probably never see. Um, we'll start with the runners-up. Uh, Sports Illustrated highlighted eight things that are banned from Madden by the NFL. Um, this is things like uh, the ambulance, the ambulance hitting players when it comes oh. to take uh, uh, <laughs> injured Come players on. on the field and uh, celebrations. Performance-enhancing devices. 
Um, and I linked to a short film on what these people think it would be like to work in a video game store. Uh, so those are the runners up. All right, um, let's start with the achievement. Stallion Stallion eighty three on Xbox Live has become the first player to have a gamer score of one million points. Da, da, That's insane. Da, da, da. Um, I don't know how he did it. I I don't know how anyone has the time. Are there Probably. even a million gamer points? Evidently yeah. there are, but like um, yeah, there is. But uh, is that the top level? Like, can you not get any more points? I don't know because he's like topped out at that number. I I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> um, maybe it'll be but, like uh, World of Warcraft, and they'll release release a patch where you can level up above one million gamer points. Yeah, um, <laughs> but uh, for the last six hours of his uh, his journey, he streamed it live and stopped when he reached one million. Um, so kudos to that guy who apparently has all the free time in the world. <laughs> He's like, I'm done with video games forever. Goodbye, everybody. Yep. <laughs> um, next up, uh, Brawl in the Family, a YouTube channel. Has also a great a, comic strip. Uh, has released a song named Plumber's Best Friend. Um, it's a song... Uh, from the, po- the viewpoint of Yoshi, and he lets Mario know that he's his best friend. Um, it's a it's a pretty funny song, and it's pretty awesome, too. Uh, and last but not least, to- least oh. uh, Machinima has created a animated series that shows what the NPCs of Grand Theft Auto go through. <laughs> Because, <laughs> um, I, I mean, good. if you think about it, all these main characters run around and they severely affect the lives of uh, the characters that you don't play. Um, <laughs> whether it be randomly showing up and shooting someone or accidentally hitting someone with a car. Um, but it, this one is uh, episode one. It's linked over at insertcointobegin.com with the other video. Um and the uh, runners up. Uh, <laughs> it's about three and a half minutes long, and it's hilarious. There's just uh, somebody driving along, and he just got carjacked, and now he has to run after the car. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It, it's seriously a, a, a funny, funny, funny video um, mm. that you normally don't stop to think about when you're playing the game. So there right. you are. Um, going back to that, um, Brawl in the Family, they, they, they have their uh, comic strip on Kotaku every Sunday morning, usually. It, it's really good, so I, I, I expect nothing but awesome things from them. And that video is really good, too. So. All right, uh, next up we have uh, Dehuman Eyes, our friend review with Fuzzy. Fuzzy, could you tell us a little bit about this game? Okay. Uh, Dehumanize Your Friends is actually an engine uh, that's made to help uh, bring uh, physical games to the digital world. Uh, the physical games being games, uh, those uh, large uh, large number of people, party games, the card games like Apples to Apples and Cards Against Humanity. What they did was they brought in some of the best cards from Cards Against Humanity and made it so that a bunch of people can sit around a TV with a Chromecast plugged in and... Uh, Rather than holding a, a hand of cards, you hold your phone and you have your uh, your hand is actually on your phone. And the topic card comes up on the TV and it eliminates the shuffling, which makes for just more time for just laughing and generally being horrible people. Anything that eliminates <laughs> shuffling is okay in my book. <laughs> hey, sir. Yeah, this one's for you. This last picture was... They kiss. They kiss. For your audio listeners, we just touched our fingers like they were penises. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, that that happened. Well, we um, said we were going to uh, friendships. Uh, <laughs> we we played this for a good two three hours on Sunday. Yes, there was six we of played, us. We played through every card that was available to yeah, us. Yeah, um, we it worked out to about one hundred thirty rounds. So that I mean that's how that's how much we played it. Yes, very thorough testing, very scientific. Yeah, so I mean, and, and it works pretty well. I, I mean, like I said, if you're if you're familiar with Cards Against Humanity, like one, <clears throat> one of the things I like about it is 
like I feel like the presentation when you're the person reading the cards and putting them together with the phrase like adds to the humor to it and then you know you pick uh, otherwise like all the cards flip at the same time and again there are six of us playing so there's five cards that flip at the same time and we all react and are laughing to something but we have no idea which one <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us are laughing at um and then it's up to really you know i i feel like i feel like the the, the king the, 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 the you know the, the point giver in this case um um it's less dependent on the reaction of the reading you know as i felt like it was in the in the original game uh so it kind of ch- i think it changes a little bit of the flow of the game a little bit but still a nice it's still it's still a nice different way to play the same game we were used to. And the best part is that they got they they removed so many of the cards that were just decent. Because one of the things that we kept saying was it's it's like you're playing an all star version of the game. Mm-hmm. Because you know, some of those those ones that you just typically don't remember, they aren't there. Do you have anal beads? Yes. Do you have elf cum? Yes. Do you have penises kitchen kissing? Yes. You have the stuff that matters. Right. And, and I really like the they they had a really nice this idea of using the Chromecast. We got a picture here that's actually I believe that's my Nexus Seven tablet there, and everybody else had like Android phones for for the most part, um, and, and that. You know, you see your cards here on your interface, and you select it, or and 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 it just you know kind of connects to everybody. It's really nice. You got to be all connected to the same Wi-Fi, have the Chromecast. So again, it's like you know, if, if all your friends are Android friends, or if you're like Frank and just have multiple <laughs> extra devices, um, it works pretty well. So and again, this is very. I think you know. I think we determined this pretty early. And, and it worked pretty well there. We had a few glitches, like don't let your phone go to sleep or you'll drop out of the game and lose your points, for instance. Um, you know, things like that. Uh, but but I, it's... And that it's, sounds like... That, that actually sounds like something Sork would do. Um, well, it, no, it happened. Oh, no, it happens. Like, hell, let's go get some more... Something to drink, some more food, go to the bathroom, and then we come back, the phone is, is you know, asleep or you, you turn it off you know, out of habit and you, you, you go back and it's doing the app refresh and it, and it doesn't, it doesn't connect everything. It seems so, so, but we did have six people connected to this thing. So we, I think yeah. we were, we were probably hitting like the threshold there. Right. I, I would think so because part of the thing is I don't know that the screen is going to resize once you get above nine people, no, nine people may be your highest. You can quote well, 10 yeah. people total, a judge and nine players. That may be your tallest because I don't know that they have it built in where it's going to resize the screen for any more than that many. Well, as it is, some of the longer cards were running off the cards. Yeah, that's so. another thing. And well, like we said in the beginning, whenever we first started playing this, it's a beta. Mm-hmm. Uh, looking right now, it's only between 10,000 and 50,000 installs. Uh, it's only been out for um, you know just maybe a couple of weeks, not even. Mm-hmm. So it's still extremely new in the grand scheme of things. So the fact that it's at this point already, it I think I think this has a lot of potential, especially since uh, the game itself is more of a front end for uh, to work out the bugs for the engine that lies beneath. Because what the developer is doing is he's using it to make an engine where you can uh, reliably license it to. Uh, the makers of Apples to Apples or the actual makers of Cards Against Humanity so that they can uh, put the full versions of the games into this engine. <laughs> so mm. so the fact that it's more of an engine than a game and it still plays this well, I think is a tremendous feat. Yeah. And for those wondering how they're doing this, since, since like, you know, Cards Against Humanity is something that is you can buy. Uh, they actually, uh, uh, they uh, well, I think Cards Against Humanity was a Kickstarter. They release everything on Creative Commons, so you can buy the cards from them, which is the, how they make money. Or you can actually download all the cards and and print them yourself and play the game. They they just put the content out there, uh, so there's actually nothing stopping them from taking that content and putting it in an app like this. I guess they did get a cease and desist because the original name was Cards Against Civility, and that was Casts a little too civility. close. It was a little too close to their 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 name and everything and their copyright, right? Mm-hmm. All right, something like that. So it sounded like a little bit of brand confusion. So um, and um, yeah. so you brought this up off air. Uh, 
I was I was looking up cards against humanity on the uh, on the Android device before it came out. Mm-hmm. Holy crap! There's a lot of them. There's a few on iOS too. There's some. There, there's actually an app that's just the black cards, so you can just use it as your black cor- card generator and just use the white cards, I guess. Mm-hmm. So, and there's other but kind of knockoff versions. Man's laughter. Yeah, manslaughter, which is man's dash laughter. Man's laughter. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah. there's a couple other ones too. Um, and I think there's probably there's a, you say there's a bunch on the uh, uh, Play Store. I think I saw like just. Probably they're just fake ones, you know, just to get stuff. Mm-hmm. It hits because it is Cards Against Humanity. Uh, but let's see. Play just NSFW. Play NSFW. Somebody has a Cards Against Humanity app, whatever that is. Which so is just two stars. That'll keep you informed. It's just a picture of the game. Horrible cards, columns of cards. Mm-hmm. And then we just get in, like, regular crap. All right. But yeah, don't go to those ones though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm looking right now just for all the different stories uh, that were posted about this game coming out, and the oldest one's only seven days old. Mm-hmm. So I figure this game's only been out for a week, mm-hmm. and it's already playing this smoothly, you know, from a really new developer because the guy only has three other apps in the uh, Google Play Store, and uh, you know, this is the only one of its type. So. Yeah, I think this has a lot of potential. Uh, no, this is interesting. Uh, Missy actually brought this up. Uh, there is actually a Cards Against Humanity online version. Yeah. That's an actual licensed it's, thing. It is from Cards Against Humanity, and it's it uses uh, different types of cards, like different types of decks. So okay. you, if you don't, it, it uses different names and different things like that. Like I know there's game grumps on there, the a, a game grumps version, which is just ridiculous. Uh, and some other YouTubers have their own decks that is already generated on the game, on the game and it's free to play. Huh? That sounds interesting. So, so it sounds like if, the, if these guys <coughs> kind of uh, steer clear of the legal troubles, they, this might actually get featured on their site. It could. So who knows? Awesome. Go All check right. out and, and don't forget. Go check out Fuzzy's review over there on InsertCoinToBegin dot com. Yep. Uh, are you guys ready to get informed? Inform me, Bobby. All right. Things you should be made aware of. Uh, EA once again is among the worst companies. Uh, the two thousand four <laughs> uh, worst companies tournament has been released. Uh, voting opens tomorrow. Um, this is where they vote on uh, different companies to find out which one is the worst company in America. And EA has won the last two years. Um, can they three-peat? I don't know. They have some stiff competition this year. Um, Microsoft is also one of the companies involved. Um, and SeaWorld, who I think is going to win personally because of the uh, documentary Blackfish um, and the buzz that's created. Um, Wait, other companies yeah. involved. What's that? Go ahead. Um, I was, I was gonna, other companies involved are Sally Mae, Comcast, Yahoo, Facebook, uh, Verizon, just a whole hodgepodge of terrible companies. Mm-hmm. But you're, you're missing the uh, best part about it. What's that? Uh, what is the name of the award? Uh, what is the name of the award, Bobby? Where is it? Say the name, Bobby. Say the name. It, it's Golden. And it comes out of your butt. Golden Poop Award. The Golden Poo. Oh, no. <laughs> but uh, this year, I can't really say anything bad about EA. No, I don't think but they deserve The, the last it. few <laughs> years have been pretty good. I mean, the last year was pretty okay for EA. They haven't messed up or anything. But there's going to be those trolls who say, oh, EA is going to suck again, so let's do it again. Because, well, because of what happened last time they won it, which you I mean, can find on insertcoinbegin.com. Kmart and Sears Search. are on here, Target, McDonald's. Oh, they have all the DM. big names on there. Yeah. Like, it's it's kind of like uh, McDonald's. Wow. Yeah. That's a, kind of a shock. 
Oh, if, if we're picking uh, winners here, mm -hmm. I'm, I, instead of, you know, EA, I'm going with Lululemon. That guy's a douche. Top ramen. <laughs> Yoga that's, pants for all. That's the best company uh, in the world. Ramen. My noodles. pick is uh, it's going to be Sea World just because of uh, yeah. Fish. I, I agree. Uh, I think I think either Sea World or GM because of what yeah. they're what's going on with the Cobalt. That's just a big oh mess. yeah. That's right another that. thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I, I yeah like I, I don't think EA deserves it this year. I don't think Microsoft deserves it either because they kind of backtracked on everything they said that was horrible. And that that has nothing on like capturing animals and forcing them to do tricks. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Riz, you want to tell us about this Minecraft movie nonsense? Uh, <laughs> everybody's saying it's going to be a good movie. I even said it in my article, but I I don't know. It has the potential. It has a good concept because of what Lego Movie has done. If if they do it in Le in uh, Minecraft form. If they do a live action Minecraft, I'm out. Uh, but yeah, a, not if they do a Minecraft form, I'm out. Fuck what? That. Minecraft is a terrible game. I don't want to watch a terrible movie based on a terrible game. Yeah, but Minecraft is virtual Legos. Yeah, they're they're basically Legos. Well, Minecraft is for people who failed Lego. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lego. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of conflicted between the two. I think it's a good idea on paper because of all the stuff that all the support that Minecraft does have. But I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with it. I'm not sure. You can't really make a story based off a guy mining things. And then building a house, and then getting it blown up by creepers. You can't really do that at all. You know, I never really thought they could make a Lego movie. No, well, yeah, that, that's like, that's another just thing. people building things with Lego blocks, and that's, everything being made out of Lego blocks. That seems like a concept that doesn't that doesn't resonate with no, storytelling. I also mm -hmm. agree with you there. I also agree that th this also has the potential of being a Lego movie, but. There's that big butt. It's limited. Guys, you Lego just, has a 40 window. years worth of nostalgia behind it. Minecraft yeah. does not. You Minecraft guys, has guys. a fan base. You and guys Lego just got to remember. No, no, Lego not. does. But mine, that's all Minecraft has is a, is a fan base. Lego has history of making things. They have a history of creating worlds. They have a history of creating larger-than-life things like the uh, Millennium Falcon or, or the Batwing or something like that. It, Minecraft, eh. I mean, it, it's Lego. It's kind of like Legos, but it's not really Legos. So it's kind of it, it's kind of weird to see a Lego. Uh, I keep on saying Lego movie. A Minecraft movie being being made. I, I, none of you guys here have really put a lot of time into Minecraft, right? Uh, not really. Uh, I put like uh, two hours into Minecraft. Yeah, so. yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I, I want to hear. I would love to hear the opinion of somebody that does play this on a. On no, a, I, I, I like 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 Brother Sorg is is fairly big in the Minecraft, and I would like to see uh, his opinion on on something like this. So. I, I've played it and I've ranted about it, about how like ridiculous it is. Mm -hmm. And like you said, everybody thought Legos were ridiculous as well. And look what they did. Yeah. So I'm I'm holding off judgment. It was like really are they, like that was my thought. It was like really they're doing a Lego movie. It's like holy crap they did a Lego movie. <laughs> and and, and well, I think we were like they're doing a who Lego. Does, video depending who does it, it's game. Warner Brothers who mm -hmm. did the Lego movie. Yeah. It's That's in what everybody the says. Right hands. They keep screwing up DC comics, but they're really good with building stuff movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if they do a Lego Connects. movie, here's they're a mini boss a, battle. They're going to make a Connects uh, the movie next. I can't wait for Lincoln Logs the movie, guys. <laughs> I don't know about you. Oh. <laughs> uh, but if they, the make, if the they do make this movie, who plays Steve? 
I don't even know where to start with that. Steve's on. Uh, I like Steve's on. That's it's computer good. generated. Things going right. to be Will Ferrell. Yeah, it okay. Be. It could be anybody because of the voice. It could be anybody it's if they do voice if they do a Minecraft style movie. It's going to be computer animated. It has so. to be animated. Yeah. You can't but really you, do anything with a live action Minecraft at all. Guys, you um, just got to remember you just got to remember mm-hmm. everything is notching. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. No. Bobby, no. N- no. All right. Cool. Can we move on now? Please. All right. Yes, Bobby. Since you ruined uh, everything now. SimCity, SimCity is finally available to play on offline. You can finally play the game offline. You don't need an internet connection anymore uh, with the patch you're going to release here uh, in the next few days. Um, you can play online whenever you want. So basically, what they should have done since the beginning of the game and avoided all this catastrophe with the online only uh, SimCity, they're finally releasing it, and it's a free update. So, oh, actually, it's live right now. So you can you can play SimCity online whenever offline whenever you want. What do you guys think? Are you still going to pick it up or no? No. No. Yeah. Me I'm either. still stuck on Civilization. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we all had the same response at yep. the exact same time. No. Too late. <laughs> Alright, and... I, I, don't, um, I don't like SimCity that much. I, I loved the, like SimCity 4. But when I was I never, a kid, I liked it. Yeah, I, got I never really got into... It. I was more a roller coaster tycoon kid. I like SimCity. Personally, with one yeah. building to focus on, I can't do more. I, like, I, I do like making uh, roller coasters, not like not have an end, and then just have them fly off the end. If you if you if you have not played Roller Coaster Tycoon, if you can find it, go download it. Not three, two or one. The three three is terrible. So, all right, and our final story, which is going to marry into our uh, final round question, um, somebody beat Ground Zeroes, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, which came out today. Somebody beat it in 10 minutes. Mm. Uh, it's a $30 game, and somebody finished it in 10 minutes. They said the game wasn't bad, but just very, very, very short. And then somebody beat it uh, again with in 18 minutes with an S rating, which is, like I guess, the highest rating, one of the higher ratings you can get in the game. Um, it, it, it is a prequel to – it is a prequel to Metal Gear um, – uh, the fan- Metal Gear Solid Five, The Phantom Pain. Uh, it's not a full game. Uh, Hideo Kojima said he knew it was. He, he admitted that it was kind of short, around two hours if you go through the whole thing and play it. Uh, there's more content in there than than you know than usual. But uh, yeah, ten minutes for a game that costs thirty dollars. If you can beat it in ten minutes, I don't no, know. No, wait, about wait, wait. That. Is this like a speed run somebody did? No. This is just somebody playing the somebody game. Somebody playing the game beat it in 10 minutes. And this isn't like a special, like, this guy is really good at video games. I don't, I don't, I think it was just somebody just played it and they found out they could beat it in like 10 minutes. I don't even think it was a speed run or anything. Because the guy, like, I'm watching the video here and it looks like the guy knows where to go. I mean, he could have. I mean, he's really looks like he knows where to go. So, but just give him Dark Souls and let him die. Yeah, yeah, but it, it is possible to beat it in ten minutes. Wow! Uh, which, uh, which is going to bring us to our final round question. Uh, did you have something, Chachi? It, see, this is a hard one for me. <clears throat> um, I'm going to go with no because it's Metal Gear Solid. Because mm-hmm. um, I paid what nineteen dollars for the Assassin's Creed download game. Mm-hmm. And that was a short game. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, that, well that's, um, our, that's our final round question. Um, would you pay $30 for a 10-minute game? And are you in favor of four uh, pre-release games like Metal Gear Solid Zeroes or Dead Rising Case Zero or even like a Liberation where it's like uh, not the full version of the game, but it's something that like whet your appetite for more games like that? Or, or, uh, go ahead, I think $30 Chachi. is too much. Yeah, that's what this, is, what this is. If this is a glorified demo, holy crap, that's an expensive demo. It feels like they're putting this out because they know the insane Metal Gear Solid people will be will, will pay for this. Oh yeah, and, and that Definitely. just seems like one of my one of my all time one of my all time favorite games is Metal Gear Solid Three. Yeah, um, but I wouldn't pay thirty dollars for a ten minute game. No, 
No, why would you release no. a 10 minute game like this? If it's I, like, I may at 10. Yeah. A dollar per minute. <laughs> no, even then, if, if it's a 10 minute game that's, you know, to link one game to another to act as a go between, mm -hmm. honestly, I'll sit down and just watch someone else do it on YouTube and save the ten dollars before I go out and like spend this guy. ten or even yeah. thirty mm -hmm. for a ten minute game. Mm -hmm. Well, well, they they said the good thing is that um, if it's any indication with this game, uh, it, the, they said the Phantom Pain is probably going to be a great game because this one's just real polished. You know, I don't. Nobody knows when the Phantom Pain is going to come out. Um, they haven't released a, a release date yet, uh, but. I, they said if this is any indication, it should be good. So that's at least a step in the right direction that way. But and, and, yeah. it, and just say it's not going to be. You're not buying this thing. It's not. It's not like everybody's going to have a 10 minute game here. Um, yeah. they're, they're even in the same article. They're saying like, well, these guys did it in 18 minutes, which is still rather short. You know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but, but they said if you stretch it out, it could be two hours or more. So okay, it's, it's, that's it's still not. A two-hour game that still seems expensive. If there's if there's a lot of other content in the game that you're not yeah. getting to when you beat it in ten minutes, there has to be. What? You probably it's still could, you probably thirty dollars. You could probably beat Skyrim in about thirty minutes, but there's so much other stuff to do in that game. That yeah, that's insane. the thing. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to go through the main story if it's that short? If you mm -hmm. bought the game for thirty dollars, I can see that being a free like. If you go to a free, like a, buy a free game on Xbox Live, mm. I can see that happening. Like but I feel, if, if I buy thirty dollars worth of a game, I'm going to spend my time thirty dollars worth. Yeah, so and that's I'm why find shit. That's why I, I I have trouble paying sixty dollars for games a lot of time because I'm like, am I going to get my sixty dollars worth out of this game? Mm -hmm. I feel with Call of Duty games, with um, the Grand Theft Auto games, I definitely get sixty dollars worth out of something like that, you know. And, and the others that I don't, I, I wait until like, yeah, okay, forty dollars for uh, Assassin's Creed, whatever. Uh, all right, I, I, I feel like I'm going to do do better with that. That's exactly why I got South Park for forty bucks. Mm -hmm. It and, and, and it was worth. I, I would have paid sixty now. Now that I see Honestly, it, but I, I, I'm glad that I got it for forty though. I took a shot in the dark. And I know it's going to be like, why did I do this down the line? But I took a shot in the dark, and I succeeded in buying a sixty-dollar game that's hard as shit that I love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I, I can't put this game down. In the dead, like Souls I can't. Too. The Dark Souls Two. Dark Souls Two, yeah. I cannot find like a way to put it down because it is that good. Mm -hmm. And I've played games that I've paid sixty dollars for that I didn't like. No, I nor. Uh, but other than that, it's one of those games that I just can't decide whether or not to stop playing it. And I'm only stopped playing. I've only stopped playing it because I'm talking to you guys about this game. Okay, this okay. Can, I, I wouldn't I buy. I wouldn't buy this game, and then just go straight through the story. Can I, would can buy I share this a, game? Can I share a story? Can I share a story about a story game? Short. A game that I was going to get my wonderful wife oh. that was Tekken 4, actually. Not that one that you put. It was Tekken 4. And I had actually rented the game. So I could just get it. Like, hey, do you like the game? Okay, I'm going to go get it. I think it was for her birthday or something. I came back from work or school or something, and she had unlocked half the characters. <laughs> Maybe all the characters. I think all but the super secret characters. And I'm like... Well, I'm not buying this new now. <laughs> so Let's just keep running it for a while. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. I, I, eventually, I just I, I think what did I picked up Tech and Tag just so you had something different at the time and and uh, we and hold, someone hold has never gotten on Xbox Live since I got a copy to play against you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, <There's>... Sorg. <laughs> Got to schedule friends. an appointment. My brother gave me Gears of War 2 so I could play together, and I haven't hooked up with him. So so I'm not – you have to make an appointment with me, sir. You know I have a busy schedule. <laughs> schedule your game. Frank, time. Frank, brother Sorg, you guys uh, uh, get on Google Calendar and send me an invite, and we will play these damn games, okay? Oh, this needs, this oh, is the only way we're going to be able to do this. You know this is the only way I can do this, right? So we're gaming Sorg. on Sorg's schedule. Sorg. Sorg. Yes. Saturday at three. Can we play threes? 
<laughs> no, because I have a gig. No, no, because I have a gig. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, let's miss you drive, and I'll play it in the on, car. We can. Any, any, yeah. Anybody else? Have Hopefully, it'll be on Twitch too. The final round question. Uh, it's just. I, pl- I played Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, it took me about 18 hours to beat the main storyline. And I think my there. sister bought it for me for Christmas on a Black Friday special for $40. And I was <laughs> tremendously upset that she spent that much money on a game oh, wow. that I blew through that quickly. And it was mm-hmm. just a total letdown. So oh, 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 if oh, I guys, felt we that have way after 18 hours, yeah, I'd be furious after Speaking a, Speaking a of Batman? Game. Speaking of Batman, our uh, pre- story we were, had a, either last week or the week at, week before that, uh, Kevin Conroy is back as the voice of Batman. Nice in nice. the uh, Rocksteady Batman game. Good. So um, that's that's fitting. <laughs> to that, to that, I recall in the Game Boy days beating Super Mario Land in only a couple days. Super Mario Land two in in maybe a week. Um, does, did, uh, beating Kirby's Dream Land on the way home from Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was bad back then. Right. Eh, probably what thirty dollars game. The nineties, the eighties and nineties were a different time. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> they were all black and green. All right, well, that's gonna that's gonna do it for back us. Back in week. my day, back that's in gonna... my day, we had two colors on a handheld portable Try system. Try the show, guys. Back in my day, we had two buttons. Back in my day, we didn't know how to end a podcast because we didn't know what a podcast was. <laughs> we we didn't have the internet. All Is right, that that's like gonna... radio? Can I finish? <laughs> <laughs> Just turn it to Ross Pro there for a second. Can I ask? Uh, all these kids won't get that reference. But... <laughs> <laughs> Can I finish? Dana Carter. Right. That's going to do it for us this week. Uh, Chachi, uh, do you want to pl- plug Chachi Ooh, Plays real yeah. quick? No. Yes, ChachiPlays.com. We have a $7,500 goal that we want to hit. That you do will it. hit. So let's, on the uh, let's get on that, people. All right, you can follow us on the tweets at Insert Coin TV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily, and you can join us every Tuesday night here on Sur- Live.SorgatronMedia.com at eight o'clock uh, for for live, or you can download load us from various uh, places. Um, and now we're on iHeartRadio um, for Sor- at Sorgatron for at the Riz at Fuzzwad. At Chachi says, I'm at Bobby FJ Town. Game over.